Today we are doing a budget how to sound like Greta Van Fleet. Jake Kishka is the guitar player. I have a beautiful Epiphone guitar right here. I also have a Boss Katana 100 Mark II here on the floor. A huge thanks to Guitar Huse and Algum Nordic for borrowing me this guitar. We are going to use the Boss Tone Studio to do the tweaking on the amp so you can see everything that I'm doing. The tones we are trying to achieve today are close to some straightforward rock and roll tones, but there are some modifiers that will set it apart just a tiny bit. Let's start by finding the right amp here in the editor. And of course we are going the Marshall route. So I'm going up to crunch. We have a couple of variations. I'm going to turn off the reverb for now so we can dial in the amp tones. For I think I'm going for the first one. Yep, I'm definitely going for that one. We have the vintage cab. I'm going to turn up the mids a tiny bit and a bit more of treble. I think that is pretty close to what I want from the amp. I'm turning down the gain a tiny bit. Uh, let's do reverb first. I think I saw that Jake is using a holy grail from Electro Harmonics. Uh, going for hall setting here. That's definitely too much. Let's park it around here for now. Okay, uh, that's the reverb and here is the trick that I think sets this tone apart. It's quite similar to what Jimmy Page did back in the days. Uh, of course, a lot of people are connecting these two bands and this is another thing I guess that sort of connects them. I did try a treble booster and I also did try the mid boost. I think maybe we are doing the mid boost. He is using uh, a treble booster live at least. I'm not sure if he is using it like all the time if it's an always on pedal but there's definitely a honk in his guitar tone. It's not just like a straightforward Marshall sound, it's a bit nasal sounding. So uh, let's try to boost some mids right here. I think I want to turn down the gain a bit on the amp. That's too bright. <laughs> Thing that we need to be careful with, I think, is that there's not a lot of gain going on in this um, tone. It's a lot of definition. Uh, you can hear that it's loud, but it's not very saturated. That's why I turned down the gain because we are pushing the amp even more with the booster. And we even have some drive here. I think I want to turn it down even more actually.
think we are getting there, but I want even more honk. I want some more mids here. So let's go to the EQ. We can basically add uh, a graphic EQ and I want to do that uh, in the amp in position. You know, I like this area right here. So uh, let's try to boost around 500 hertz. <laughs> That's a lot. Let's turn it down a bit, but that's definitely doing what I want. That's definitely what I want. Still a bit too much gain, actually. band but <laughs> it's at the point where it's almost a bit difficult to play because there's uh, not that much gain so feel free to add some more if you find it to be too little saturation in there <laughs> And of course, I'm not sure if this is the way he's doing it, but let's say that this is our tone right now. Uh, I want to add a tiny bit more drive from the boost, actually. And we want that to be even more clean. Then we can just use uh, the volume control here. we want the game back again. I think that is very close to what I'm hearing from the band at least. Um, Feel free to add some more gain if you want that, of course. Uh, okay, so we have uh, the first crunch setting here, a pretty straightforward equalizer on the amp. We have the booster, which is very important, a mid boost. Uh, you can also try with the um, treble boost if you want. And you can uh, use the tone dial to find the right frequencies to boost. I think if we... Go a bit more down on the negative side here, we get closer to the mid frequencies, same as with the mid boost. So, I'm guessing it's the same if you use the mid boost or the treble boost. And of course, we have some reverb. Seems like he's using a lot of different levels with that one. I saw that he has two pedals live when he wants even more. So, you can just dial in the amount that you want for the different songs. <laughs> So I'm going to use this preset to record a couple of short snippets from uh, the Greta Van Fleet catalog to see how it works in a context. I had a friend, Sindre, play some drums for me. Since they are double tracked, you have a guitar left and a right. I think I will use uh, different cabs for those two different tracks to, to vary the guitar sounds just a tiny bit. And I might use the volume right here as well.
you have it you think I got close, let me know in the comment section. And by the way, on Highway Tune, I added even more reverb in the DAW. I don't think it was enough and I wanted to have like a stereo spread. So I added that in Logic. Other than that, I was just using the preset that we made together. If you have a katana, just follow what I do basically and you will have some budget tones of Breda Van Fleet. Thank you for watching. Thanks to Algam and Guitar Huse once again. Thanks to Boss and thanks to Sindre for playing drums. Yeah, I think that's everyone. And thanks to you for watching. Did I say that already? I think I did. Bye.